So a couple of you guys have commented on my videos saying, boy, you know, you need some, uh, you need some safety gear. And actually a lot of you on my Chinese chainsaw review video said, uh, you really, really need some safety gear. <clears throat> so I went on eBay and I bought a pair of chaps and a hard hat, uh, face shield and earmuff. Uh, helmet all in one. So uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this thing and you guys can see what's in it. Uh, I'm not being paid. I'm not being paid by anybody to do this video. I have no affiliation with Forrester or any of the companies. This is just me doing a video for your entertainment, my entertainment, and plus I get some chaps that I can use. Um, Another thing I wanted to say is, you know, as many of you know, I am, I'm very, I try to be very frugal with my money. And you guys had said, I think one of you had said, you know, the, if I, if I were to cut my leg or something with uh, a chainsaw, you know, that could be, that would be an emergency room visit, stitches, hospital, surgery. So, you know, all that's starting to be very, very, very expensive. And a pair of chaps, a helmet, and everything else is just a little bit of cheap insurance, I guess. You know, that it's, it's a one-time deal, and it saves me from all the pain, aggravation, and just the, the cost of surgery and time and all sorts of things. So, so without further ado, let's open this box up. So here's what the box looks like. I'm going to try to cover up my address here. It's a Forrester Professional Cutters uh, combo. Includes safety glasses. I will not be using the safety glasses because I have prescription glasses for me to see. So you get one pair of chaps and one Forrestry helmet. Uh, UL listed. So you guys can pause it there and look at a read a few of that stuff. I really, uh, I'm really happy to have the helmet with all the the face shield and the muffs on it all in one. I have I use earplugs because I think earmuffs are sometimes uh, uncomfortable to use, you know, because they they squeeze your head and it kind of gives me a headache after a while. So I'm hoping these aren't going to be putting too much pressure, you know, on my on the sides of my head. Uh, I know if they put more pressure on, they're obviously going to work better. But if this uh, gives me a headache, uh, I can still just use my earplugs. Uh, something that annoys me with the earplugs is whenever uh, someone wants to talk to me or uh, I want to put them away for a while and do something uh, with my hands, you know, so I don't have to hold them. I'll put them in a case, and you know, obviously they're dirty from being in my ears, and I have to wash them every time. So. I, uh, it's nice to have these, and I don't really want to put the earplugs back into the case again, because then they're dirty, and then put them back in my ears, because I think that's, uh, possibly a recipe for an ear infection, at least. The size, this is the regulars, 35 to 37 in length, and... Yeah, that's about the box. So I'm going to open this thing up here. So the helmet is on top with the... It's wrapped in a nice plastic bag. Here's the face shield. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. Holy cow. That's probably a foot wide. <laughs> There's that, and then here's the, oh wow, pretty nice earmuffs. There's one, and the second one is in here. Wow, pretty nice. And last but not least, uh, there's their glasses, which I'm probably not going to wear. And here's the chaps. Wow, the chaps actually have a little bit of weight to them. 
Oh wow, they look pretty nice. Sweet. Oh, it's made in China. So I'm going to assemble these things. So I've assembled the uh, helmet, earmuffs, and visor, or uh, safety guard, whatever you want to call this thing. And these clips, so there's, each muff is one piece, one, two, and then this is the third one. And then the muffs... Uh, clip into a little groove here and uh, it's actually a pretty secure fit and then these turn so I can turn these up I can turn them down obviously where I'll be wearing them and they also clip uh, pull out and so it's easier for you to get on and off if I had to guess this will be the first thing that breaks in my opinion and same thing with this one this one over here does the uh, exact same thing so this gets pushed down and it's tight and then it clips out for easy on and off so I like that a lot and then the there's this piece in here this is one and then this is for the top of your head for some cushion and there's six things that you uh, clip in. They're real easy. These were real easy to get in. Uh, so these four and these, or these two and these two and then these two. They all have, they have six spots total to clip into. And this has a nice adjustment on it. And it, it fits my head pretty good. Uh, the muffs are a little far down on my ears, so maybe this needs, uh, cinched up a little to bring this all up. The uh, face shield just clips in to the uh, to the sides of the muffs here, and there's adjustments. So this little tab here, I can take this and I can push this out. Uh, I have it at the whole. I have it the the whole way in, and it seems to be pretty good. I don't. Uh, this will hit, so this will catch on the edge, which is uh, just fine with me. That's not going to bother me. And the earmuffs do work. It works pretty good so far from what I can tell. You know, I obviously haven't ran it with a chainsaw yet. Um, but I will. I, I, there'll be many, many, many more videos of me uh, using these, using this Forrester uh, product. I'm not real sure what this is for, this little. But actually, uh, looking through the uh, face shield here, it's actually not that bad. You know, I know it looks on camera. Actually, the camera almost doesn't even pick it up. But there is definitely a black uh, look to it. But it's not uh, not as nearly as bad as I was expecting it to be. Uh, the helmet itself is made in... I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not, but it's made in Mexico. And I'm wearing the chaps. So I'll talk a little bit about the chaps here. Uh, there is a... Uh, there's a clip on the back. I don't know if you guys are going to see this or not, but there's a clip back here, and it is pretty substantial. And it just uh, you cinch it in, and then this top piece here, this folds down, so it would be folded up like that. And I've just folded it down. I have not uh, uh, snapped it in yet, but they're actually pretty comfortable. It comes with a uh, there's a, a pocket here on the side. A decent sized pocket, so that'll probably be for my scrunch, because I always have to uh, adjust the chain and whatnot. And then on the back, there's uh, two on each leg, two clips just like the back, and they just uh, clip in, and then uh, they're really easy to, really easy to use. I, uh, funny thing is, I feel like a professional now. I feel like a professional wearing all this kind of weird. But you know, I probably should have bought this about 10 years ago whenever I had first started using a chainsaw. I'm only 24 right now, or at, at the time of this video. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed. It seems, it seems pretty good. The only thing that I don't like, uh, this helmet and those chaps are, <laughs> they're two different colors. You know, which I'm kind of, eh. 
I'm not really uh, pleased about that. You, you would think that this and this, you know, they would, they would match. So yeah, I think that's about, uh, I think that's about all I have to say for this for right now. Uh, I will have many more videos, many more chainsaw videos of uh, me using all this stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, you must have if you've, if you've watched this far. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.